Hello everyone, Digfig here, and welcome back to another The Outer Worlds video. Um, pulled my back out, and I couldn't get out of bed for the last five days. It was really, really bad. I got up to the chiropractor to us about that, and it was terrible! So I think I can actually sit at my desk long enough to get through an episode of this game. We explored all the way up there in this town, now we're down here kind of exploring. Now I saw a crafting station here. Um, this terminal is just some diary entries of some lady who... Kind of clumsy, gets yelled at a lot, slips and falls, nothing too spectacular, just really, really long journal entries that everyone here knows I am not good at reading. So, I'm not going to read them out loud, because I sound like a freaking tool when I do that. Steel heavy machine gun, no one sees it. Was it me? Was me? I didn't do it. Um, couldn't talk to either of those guys, already did that stuff. Man, the mouse sensitivity in this game is so high. But man, I missed gaming, that's for damn sure being. I was literally bedridden for like five days. Don't you? Nope. I can loot your hides. They get in trouble? F5? It's quick save in this game, right? No? These are just free to loot. Okay, you kill them. You do all the work and I will uh, reap the rewards, I guess. It makes me a bad person, right? How many good folk we gonna lose to our missions? That's just the way of it. We gotta earn our keep out here. Can't talk to either of them. The that looks like the building we're supposed to be going into. We'll check around back, so you like to hide things back here sometimes. Keyword being sometimes. I did hide a little back staircase, five light ammo. Feel pulse hammer. Was it nice? Um, it's like there's storeroom back here. Bullet tank. That looks like it's for some sort of quest somewhere. May not seeing anybody up here. Oh, we're just gonna take things. Telescoping scaff, Mark two. I like looting some poor dude's house. You didn't need any of this food or water or energy or anything like that, did you? If you guys see me moving weird and twitching a little, that would be back spasms. I can't really help it right now. It hurts like a mofo, but um, I don't want to do any more days of no videos. I hate doing that. So I'm completely out of backed up content. Don't even remember if I already said that Carry or not. On. Go in here. Um, what's in here, you might ask? Hmm. A bit cartridge. I don't know where all your stuff went. It wasn't me. Um. These guys are just kind of sleeping in here all chill. I'm just going to read the terminal. Ezekiel, Manti Infest, Antibiotics, no effect, alcohol, current no longer with us, left, Splinter, okay, so these are just like autopsy reports basically, or current patients, uh, bullet wounds and chest, no longer bleeding out, couple of shells will still remain, unlikely, ch -ch -ch -ch. all these people are in just a lot of trouble, they got fucked up out there in the world. Not surprising. It's it's a very dangerous, dangerous planet these people live on. I could have sworn that was going to be the place that has the guy I need to talk to in it. But it must be in here, right? Talk to you? No. Checked over there. Absolutely nothing. Hopefully my audio and stuff is fine here. You see red spikes, which kind of concerns me. My mic is all wonky and gets fucked up sometimes. That was a nice little back twitch right there. But the show must go on, is what they say here. What was on this table? Oh, they're just playing cards. I wonder what type of card game that is. Two, three, four. Oh, interesting. I'd like to get some backstory on that. Um, another rider. I don't have time for this. Can't even talk to the barkeep in here. Where is this revolutionary? Yeah, we felled it, Marty. But we lost two runners and five gun hands. A total failure, then. 
So much for the ruins. And hell only knows where the Van Oys are. They never showed. I'm sure they're... Ah, let's talk later. It seems we have company. I didn't mind eavesdropping. I kind of like eavesdropping. It's fun. Kind of rude, but it's kind of fun. I wonder what board game that is. This is such, like, small little... Like, definitely obsidian little things here. Like, such fine details. Like, the little board games. Hey, a map of Monarch. Um, talk to you. And I need to buy myself an entire. Don't talk to you. I'll talk a to this guy. Comes to our home. If you're looking for a path to walk, you found one. If oh, you're looking thanks. For a teacher, I am one. Welcome to the iconoclasts. What do you teach? Um, I am told you're out of pamphlets. That's a shame, lols. Um. I like the third one. This is Amber Heights. I expected more altars or incense or both. Let's go with number one. The truth that I have come to learn and embrace since shedding the corporate yoke. Out here, we survive by the sheer strength of our spirit. We have no need for the endless rules and red tape of a corporate structure. We do seem to burn through endless ammunition and medical tape, though. Yes, well, such is life. Our descendants will enjoy safety and luxury, but our generation is the foundation on which that future is built. The thinking is logic and good. Um, I'm just looking for ways to help the people here. Anything you're doing? Um, I want you to know more about your teachings. Tell me about the iconoclasts. Um, street number three. The iconoclasts are free folk. We live under our rules, motivated by our own beliefs. All petals on the same flower of enlightenment meanwhile the board strangles the will of its workers it is the penultimate exercise of a poisoned society where people are enslaved by a corporate ladder we seek to replace their way of life with ours philosophism is the key to unlocking their shackles is it now so i guess i am still blocking the ui no matter what i do on the stupid game move myself over here um but it'd be dangerous to let anarchy run rampant from what i've seen i have to agree anarchy would be better um number this one is not anarchy society requires structure captain it is just that the board's structure is killing the colony ours will not all right Want to know more about your teachings? Awakening is available to all whose minds are ready to accept it. What would you like to know? I would like to know what you think Bokonu meant when he wrote, Your work is to discover the truth, and then with all your heart, give yourself to it. Ah, how refreshing to have a scholar among us. Bokonu's text simply refers to our entire purpose, assisting the universe in realizing its own truth. Let it guide us as it will. It refers to giving oneself over to the plan. It is not some peon to an invisible creator in the sky. Hmm. Let's let them talk. Were there a truth to the grand plan in the first place, I and Bakonu might agree. But what we see as divine purpose is just one facet of the universe figuring itself out. To quote, as a child looking at the leg of an elephant, unable to view it whole, we mistake the tiny scope of our understanding as the unfathomably large purpose of the universe. You're not completely full of shit, I'll give you that. Even if you do twist things beyond recognition to suit your own beliefs. Um... Let's let them keep talking. Were my teachings beyond recognition, I dare say I wouldn't have a small army of followers who understand and believe. I owe you an apology. I expected you to be a complete idiot. I'd say you're actually more in the 25% idiocy range. Oh. Likewise. Now, I'm sorry. What was it you were asking? Um, do you believe in the creator? What do you mean by the awakening? Um, number one, uh, the eternal. We are all part of the consciousness of the cosmos. 
Each of us plays a tiny role in the universe's continual journey toward understanding itself. You and I, and the rats and the mantis swarms, divinity is in us all, and the eternal is that divinity. Okay, even OSI. Um, are there members similar to divine? Everyone, regardless of ability to choose number one, is another facet of the universe contemplating its own existence. Ability to believe. I think you mean inability to tell fantasy from truth, which rules out any knowledgeable scientician. Let us be clear. Neither of us can lay claim to being knowledgeable on this topic. It is a matter of belief. It is not as if OSI has gone and proven anything. Regardless, what were you saying? Um, what do you mean by awakening? The point of no return. When your mind fully opens to the eternal truth, every philosophist experiences it along the path to enlightenment. For many, it is the first brush with the cold of death when they realize that all of their lives have boiled down into the single truth of that moment. Mine was witnessing my friend and colleague transform into the very evil we sought to combat. Now he runs MSI, just like the overlords before him. The senior betrayed you and you turned it to religion and now we are, here we are, but the workers enjoy much more freedom than those of the board. I've brushed it with death, but I don't believe any of this. Cut number two. Their leashes may be longer, but their collars are just as tight. You believe in the creator. Not in the sense of a single entity, fashioning the universe as a whittler fashions a flute. The universe came into being over time, organically, naturally, and without purpose. In that sense, I suppose you could say that, in the interest of finding its purpose, the universe itself created all living things. Hmm. The universe doesn't need to find its purpose. It is a mathematically perfect equation that gives mankind purpose. That we'd consider ourselves in any way capable of understanding the universe, much less an equation that drives it is nothing but hubris. Kind of gives you a goal right. to aim for, but I guess. Um, Why have you come? Why have I come? I um, have some questions. I already Why did that one. Why have you come? Just looking to help. Many things, in fact. We could always use a hand rounding up supplies. Or. Now, here's an idea. There's an old printing press I've been trying to get up and running. You need those pamphlets. Um. Go on. Oh, yes. Many facilities lie abandoned in the wilderness. I believe the press could be operational again with a little elbow grease. And luck. Sounds to me like a nifty little challenge. Got a mechanic here. Such enthusiasm, yes. I agree wholeheartedly. Our own little fixer-upper. Will you aid us in our cause? Sure, why Wonderful. not? Help everybody. I requisitioned replacement rollers for it some time ago. Huxley should have delivered them yesterday. Speaking of which, where is Huxley? My dead. You bought rollers? You haven't even cleared the wraps out yet. What are you doing wasting bits on... Ugh, forget it. Huxley's still recovering. She won't be up for a run for a while yet. It seems we're out a runner. If you intend to help our cause, I'll ask you to meet our MSI supplier in her stead. Mm. Number three. So you're her mysterious savior. She sings your praises. That girl and her songs, so eager to learn, so bright-eyed, so tone-deaf. I mean, she's not a terrible person. She meets us in the ruins of Bayside Terrace. From our compound, follow the road north. One of our sympathizers, a woman named Carlotta, periodically buys goods on our behalf from Stellar Bay's store. Stellar Bay has caught on, but they remain friendly, though the goods now come at a considerable markup. Yeah, that's kind of how that works. Wonderful. While you're at it, I wonder if Carlotta still has those high-capacity cartridges. Grab a few, will you? 
There should be some funds left over from the last shipment. We can use them to copy and modify radio serials. Yes, not just magazines, but their precious dramas. Unbelievable. I hope I don't have to tell you this, but if there is extra money, would you mind buying, I don't know, food and medicine? Graham, if you need me, I'll be in triage. Got it. A little spat here between these two people. One wants, you know, stuff to run a colony. The other one wants stuff to push his religion on other people. Interesting little take on things here. Okay, I tried to do it one sitting, but back was acting up. So I went and laid down a little bit. We just talked to that guy and he done told us we need to go start up a printing press if I remember correctly. Can find my way out of that building. Can we talk to her over here now that she what get off my balls, dude. Can we talk to you? Yes, we Sorry can now. Earlier. Graham and I don't always see eye to eye. Yeah, it happens. Besides, we just got our asses kicked in the ruins. Not a great time to yammer on about his printing press. Um, you run the triage clinic here? Yeah. Name Zora. I've been patching up the iconoclast since day one. Whenever Graham's lack of foresight gets someone hurt, I get them back on their feet. If I can. So you're a sawbones. I was a long time ago. Over in Cascadia. Rizzo was trying to sweeten up animal parts, and often that mental lab coat got bit. Now I'm whatever I need to be to keep these folks from bleeding out. You're basically a doctor, field medic, whatever you want to say. It seems too wasteful to buy press parts rather than food. Hey, you got some decency in you. Careful. That's rare around these parts, and folks are liable to try and take advantage of it. Oh, they do, but I don't care. Uh, you always talk to your leader like that? When he's being an idiot, sure. What happened in the ruins? Manta Queen showed up out of nowhere, and I guess the gunfire attracted raptodons. It was a damn bloodbath. Listen, harsh world out there. I need to oversee the wounded. Um, talking to me is always urgent. Do you need help? You want to do us a favor or two? Go talk to Bronson. He's always looking to pass his work off on someone else. For now, I got to get to the wounded. Welcome to Amber Heights. Person, who is that? Where is that? Um, are you person? No. No, I've already talked to him. I must have. I just don't remember where or who he is. Um, quick run around. Person? Huh. You know. You're still a no. Person! Yeah, yeah. Oh, hey, there's a terminal in here. Pull some little security slicer -y thing on my bobs. Come back and read that terminal later. Now, make sure I can't do anything fancy with it. Nothing crucial to interact with. Just a whole bunch of reading, which I'm terrible at, which we will pick up in another episode probably. I'm not going to spend another 10 minutes reading off dialogue on this episode. But I, I know I'm butchering this guy's name. I just know it begins with a B. Where the heck is this guy? Is it this guy? Yes. Found you. Welcome to the Emporium. I'm Bronson. Welcome, Bronson. I am Dig Fig. You run the store here. It ain't really a store. Think of me more like a quartermaster and a okay. chef and a handyman and whatever else we need. We just do it all. Um, you fix things oh, a lot. Oh sure. Sulfur ain't so good on metals, and replacing parts is expensive. So we fix things till we can't. It was like that in Edgewater too. Used to be when Bess would break down, I'd have to borrow parts from the grinder to get her working again, and vice versa. Wasn't too pretty, and it kept me on my toes, but I still made do all right. <laughs> That's the way of it, no doubt. Just last week, I sacrificed my favorite heat slicer to replace the coils on my stove. Ouch. Um, so you're some kind of quartermaster? Eat. Eating means hunting. Hunting means armaments. We used to let people take what they will, but... Then some idiot shot some other idiot over cards. So Zora set up a system. Yeah, that happens. You fuck up, you don't get to buy gear. You play nice, you do. Fair enough. Anything you need help yeah, with? Yeah, plenty. 
If you're the type to fix a thing or two, I've got I a couple reports things. I need to follow up on. The pipes up on Milton's house burst. Someone needs to shut them off. Then there are the cables outside the bar. A sprat chewed through them, and now they're spitting lightning. Then there's the old guardhouse outside town on the way to the old Bayside Terrace. Someone needs to reset the comms breaker there. Um, I already took care of it. I'll be damned. Thanks for doing that. Here. Zora sets aside a bit or two for people who help out. Before you ask, no, it ain't pay. Just being generous to folks who do a good turn. Sweet! I already did all your odd jobs. Hey, thanks again for helping out. What do you got to trade? Ooh. The vermin. Oh, that's different or not. It's been too long since I played everybody. Mark twos. Salt rifle ultra. That's just like a base ass assault rifle, but the ultra version. What am I rocking now? I was like six something, five ten. I guess I have an ultra. Okay. We're fine then. I don't need your shenanigans. So I'm guessing all those odd jobs I did were that console in that dude's house up there. So that was nothing particularly fancy here. Region map. Um, anyways, guys, we're out of time for the episode. I really do appreciate you all stopping by and checking it out and dealing with my bad back and all my sickness and my losing my voice. Hopefully we can get these videos rolling out here again, guys, and I'll see you in the next episode. Big big out! Want to see something cool, guys? My desk goes up. Hi, I'm down here. I'll miss you.